Hi, I'm Box. I'm Raggable. And we're the two smart guys or something. <laughs> well, if you include him there too. Oh, and Couch Guy. Yes. <laughs> Our lovely you? video assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, what are we covering today? Um, unlocking and jailbreaking an iPhone using uh, the GeoHop method. Yes. So we're going to make it rain. Make it rain. And snow. And black. Rain and snow. That doesn't sound <laughs> lovely. Anyways, so let's get into it. Oh, well, well actually, oh, um, oh, your phone. Oh, my phone, yes. We're, what we're doing, yeah, the in-place upgrade. Yes. So as opposed to the previous methods that we usually show. The ponage show, tool is just like a, a custom restore file that you put back onto the phone, and you have to make sure you get all your apps again and all your settings, and yeah. Um, with GeoHot's method, you actually just apply the update through iTunes, and that preserves all your applications and your settings and things like that. So the first thing that you want to do is if uh, you have a jailbroken iPhone to begin with is to back up your current uh, jailbroken apps. Uh, you can either sign up for a Rock ID and store your list with the Rock servers or download a program called App Backup. Um, I chose the Rock method. It rocks. It rocks. Uh, Except for I had issues yes. with my wife's phone where the Wi-Fi didn't work, <coughs> so I had to install a third-party Wi-Fi stumbler. And he made me do it too for three dollars. Because otherwise it's a pain trying to do it after the jailbreak. Anyway, so just plug your iPhone in, uh, open up iTunes and tell it to update. Don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is only for 3.1.2. 1. 1. Yes. So. And iTunes upgrades your iPhone. Yada, yada, yada. And then it's been updated. It complains about the SIM card. Open up Black Rain. Click the button that says Make It Rain. And you know what? That is it for jailbreaking. It's that simple. Your phone reboots and there will be a new app on there called Black Rain. You, the, only, the only thing that you see is just, it's, oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, so launch the, the Black Rain app. And that will actually, from there you can put in the uh, unlock Black Snow or uh, one of the package managers, uh, City or Rock. I recommend Rock because it's much smoother. It lets you kind of multitask while you're installing stuff. And Quick lots load. Of, it's faster, yes. better. Better, stronger. <laughs> and after you've installed Black Snow, it's been unlocked. And the thing to note here is that if you don't have 3G coverage in your area or if your SIM card is in 3G, to go ahead and turn that off in system preferences. Or you're not going to get any signal. Yes. I had <laughs> it turned off before, so it kept that setting, so mine was still turned off. Yeah, it's weird. It's just different areas. And it kept my APN settings as well. Which is crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to type that in for the billionth time. Look at that. You've got access. We're on, we're on Union. You're yeah. unlocked. You're, you're running. You're unlocked. You can install Rock. Uh, and it kept my Rock settings, so it just ran and said, hey, look, there's an inconsistency. What do you want to do? Um, yeah. Scroll down, check consistency. Right there. Push it. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. This is live. Check, check. There you go. It checks the consistency to see if you have the if you have the apps actually installed, and then if it finds errors, reinstall all the apps, downloads them, runs them, and they're back on there. So you don't have to manually go and re-download all your one jailbroken one apps. One, yes. And that's it. It's that simple. So <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's a few caveats uh, with my rock because uh, <laughs> I've installed two programs. Uh, one was called AppSync and Installulus. Uh, the AppSync is tied to a specific uh, OS version. So if you uh, leave that with your rock list and then you go to the newer OS, it will, it, the reinstall of the AppSync won't work. And then the other thing too is Installulus requires the AppSync, so just uninstall those before you do your upgrade. And then after that, you can go in and download the appropriate App sync and then get install list on yeah. there. Yeah, when we did this on my wife's phone, it worked flawlessly. We didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, but the Wi-Fi. But the Wi-Fi didn't work, and that's that's an issue. Yeah, and some people reported that you could just reset the network settings, and that fixed it. Not for me. I had, so a, I had to install a third-party NetStumbler to connect to my Wi-Fi because my Edge didn't work. 
Mm. And then it, after, after I applied the unlock, everything looked great. Okay, so what you can do instead of uh, buying the app before you need it <laughs> is upgrade, do the jailbreak, and then since it can still sync with iTunes, yeah, you can you, see, oh, I don't have Wi-Fi. I'm going to go buy the app now. Oh, I've got Wi-Fi. I don't need to spend $3. Exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to that What $3. was the Wi-Fi app? It was a Wi-Fi faux fum. Wi-Fi faux fum, yes. <laughs> yeah. That was the one we had <laughs> installed the Ryan song. $3. Yeah, so now you've got choices. You can either use um, the point pwnage tool. Or Black Rain. Black Rain. But if you've got the latest firmware and you want an unlock, you pretty much have to use Black Snow at the very least to unlock it. Okay. And that can be added through a source in, uh, in, in Rock or Cydia. Okay, but you were saying that there was issues with the newer 3GSs. Yeah, some, some, I might be wrong, but... Um, oh, oh <laughs> I just put that so as, right before. Well, uh, they're tethered, I, I believe. So every time you reboot, you have to have it. Not, not a soft reboot, but like, like a full power down, power yeah, back on. You have to have it tethered, so it has to. What do you be mean by tethered? It has to be connected to your laptop. So your if you're out <laughs> in the wild and you turn it off, and you don't have your laptop with you, and you want to turn it on, what happens? Uh, no service. <laughs> Yay! If you're so, unlocked, I think. From what I understand, I might be wrong. Yeah. So that makes your 3GS. Pretty valuable right and now. And if I am wrong, shoot me an email. <laughs> I pox it. Verify your rumors. <laughs> That's one thing I forgot to do is a lower third for Twitter handles. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm Walking Crow at oh, Twitter. Oh, <laughs> Twitter.com slash Raggable. And, uh, wow, that was a short episode. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if you, if you want to see more, or if you need more help, um, mm -hmm. you can go to our website, twosmartguys.com. And visit the forums. Visit the forums. Um, there's like a lot of people on there that, that help you out, and they know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, there's this live show every Wednesday night. And uh, you can check it out. It's uh, 9.30 Mountain Standard Time. Um, on our website, it's twosmartguys.com slash live. We've got a link right to where it's currently at, Justin TV. 10.30 Mountain Standard Time. 10.30 Mountain Standard Time. 9.30. 9.30 Pacific, I can't say that. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> oh, boy. Was there anything else that we need to say? Oh, Beyond the Clipping Plane, our new show. What about it? Well, we always get to pimp it. <laughs> Because it's just fun. Okay. Okay. So we have a new episode coming up this Monday. Yes, we Next actually. Monday. Yeah. Whatever it's, Monday. It's been a month, but we got a new episode coming out. It's gonna be fun. Fire. Explosions. The one word. Fire. Fire. Yeah. The recurring theme. I you don't can know how. you can see that on our website, twosmartguys.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys next, next week. Next week. Yes. Yeah. Um. And oh, what are we gonna be doing next week? I don't. Oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, next week, we'll be uh, covering some more um, setup guides for the free NAS box that we covered last time. Uh, I'll be talking about R-Sync on how you use that to back up to the free NAS box and to pull from the free NAS box and to configure the, configure the free NAS box as a time machine supported device for your Macintosh devices. All right. Um, see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs> This has been a Two Smart Guys production.